and start. Um, really excited for tonight. This is a, our, our June version of transaction review and calculator practice. As you all know, this is my standard disclaimer. It's my opinion only. Always do your own due diligence and consult your trusted advisors. I am not an accountant or an attorney or anything like that. So uh, just a couple special announcements before we get started. Um, we we want to welcome two new members. Our newest members are Rodney Evans. I'm not sure if he's here tonight. And Luis Santizo. I hope I said that right, Luis. Uh, you might be muted right now, but if you aren't, Hey, Axel, can we unmute him so he can say hello? Please? Hello. Yes. Hi. Welcome. It's very Thank wonderful you. to have you. How, how do you say your name? Luis or Luis or? Uh, Luis in Spanish. Luis in Spanish and English. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so either way, you have a bilingual name. That's Just good. Coming for dinner. That's it. <laughs> well, I'm very happy to have you. And at the end of this, I hope to get to know you um, a little bit more. Um, as we uh, get into our presentation, but thanks so much for being with us. And we love, I look forward to, I think you've already made an appointment for next Monday so we can get to know each other, correct? Yes, I did. Uh, fantastic. So I just wanted to thank you for being here and I look forward to that. And I don't think Rodney is here this evening, but anyway, it's always exciting to add more people to the queendom. Um, I just finished uh, a couple weeks ago. I, I was speaking at Invest Club for Women down in Irvine. That ended up being a really wonderful evening. Um, Axel was there and recorded it, and he put the replay up on, it looks like that must be YouTube. So feel free to go listen to that if you, uh, you know, want to get a feel for how crazy and silly I can be. But anyway, I really love this topic and it was so wonderful to have such great response and receptivity from the people in the room and everyone. A lot of people coming up and saying, hey, you know, that really resonated with me. I love, you know, what you're doing and why you do it. And um, I want to go forth and do likewise. So that's always a, a really feel good thing for me. So go ahead and feel free to check that out. Now, in our, in our brief calculator practice that we're going to do before we get started with um, one of our newer members, he's not brand new, but in the last two, three months, Lance, we're, he's prepared a situation that we're going to work over for tonight. Um, but before we get into that, this was, this was inspired by his, uh, the conversation I had with him, actually. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to do a quick because I think it brings up a good point. It, you know, Lance has, you know, got some information for us later, and this may or may not be relevant, but one of the ideas we talked about, he's trying to close this deal. And he's have, and he was, uh, at least a week or so ago, there was a really tight timeline, a tight time crunch. And his regular hard money lender guys couldn't get the loan to come through in time because they needed, you know, a certain sort of appraisal. Um, but I said, you know what, you're the same guys that are doing your hard money loans should be able to buy a note because it's actually two sides of the same coin. So what I want to do just for an example is just show you how easy it is. You know, if you can work with people that you have a long term relationship with, you know, so much the better because they know you, they trust you, you have reputation equity, you have, you know, character equity, you have performance. They know that you do it. You're you say you're going to do, they know you pay, they know you perform. So um, there's uh, my perfect picture for people is that they can leverage their existing relationships and just teach them a few new tricks. So in this instance, um, let me just clear all. This is for those who are new. This is an H, my favorite HP 10B2 financial calculator by Inaday Development. It's the best $6 that you'll ever spend for your iPhone or Android. So, uh, so please be sure to get that if you don't already have it. Um, but in this case, let's just say, you know, let's not worry about loan to value, but let's just say a $400,000 private money loan was in order. Okay. So that goes into PV here. And because it's interest only, a lot of the hard money loans or private loans are interest only. So all these three numbers I always put as positive and these two negative. That's just the way I learn it and the way I keep track of it. There's more than one way to do it. But since the balloon or the future value is going to be the same as the present value or the loan amount, 
I'm going to put that as the future value because here's the principal amount of the loan, here's the balloon. Um, so you and his hard money lender guy to do this loan wants four points, so four percent. So here's this recall button, recall PV, so 400, he wants 4%, right? Everyone knows that's basically a point is 1% of the loan amount. So times 0.04, so basically $16,000, right? So the hard money guy wants $16,000 as an origination fee. That's how he puts bread on the table. And he wants a 12.5% interest rate. And I'm gonna put that in, and that goes into here, um, I slash YR, that's you know, interest rate yield. Uh, there may, you know, I'm not the master at this, but what I love, just so bear with me, all you gotta know is basically these five buttons, and you can, you can do the business. <laughs> that's what I love. There's a lot of people that are super fantastic with, um, you know, being a whiz at every little button. But, and there's a lot of videos, training videos, if you buy this, this app as well. So, and, and usually hard money is short term, right? Sometimes uh, six months, 12 months, you know, sometimes up to two to three years, rarely longer than that. But let's put 12 in the way my calculator set up, it's in months. So one year times 12 months is 12. And I'm going to put that in N, which is our term. So I've put in this, this this and this. So anytime you have four, you can solve for the fifth. So I want to, what's the monthly payment, right? It's that just interest only on 400,000 is $4,166. Now I didn't have to use a financial calculator to get this. I could have just used a regular calculator and gone 400,000 times 0.125, right? 12 and a half, take the decimal over two points to the left. And that gets me $50,000, $50,000 of interest per year. So I have to divide by 12 to get interest per month. And I get that same exact number. Okay. So basically, uh, so if, if Lance wanted to borrow 400,000 from his guys, which he's normal, you know, he's used to working with his friends that they, he knows them and they know him and his hard money guy would get $16,000 points. And my guess is that you're probably looking to make uh, maybe up to $666 a month spread. So normally when people are doing private money or hard money lending, let, he's lending it out at 12 and a half, but he's probably paying and invest his investors 10 and a half, maybe 11 and a half, I'm not sure. So, he, so let's just call it a two point spread. And, and so I, I would say, well, okay, um, hard money is gonna get 16,000. Let's see what's left over. If I put 10.5, that's all they have to pay their investor and they keep the, the two point spread. Now, now I'm gonna solve for payment again. Okay, now all, so for a $400,000, they get their investor to go in for $400,000, but they only have to pay them $3,500. And we know that Lance would be paying $4,100. So I, well, since this is already negative, I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna reverse 4166 and change, right? So that's how I got up with the 666 monthly spread on, on the note. So that's pretty straightforward of private money. I think most people understand that. So what I was asking Lance is, I think you, know, you, you don't have time to get the origination done and your owner wants to sell. He's out of state already. He's under contract to buy another property. Just close this um, owner carry. And he goes, well, I don't, my hard money guys don't, don't buy notes. I go, well, it's, it's basically almost like originating a note. It's almost exactly the same. So here is, here's how the numbers work like that, right? So if you could get the owner to carry back the note, just so you can close escrow, right? So the owner carries back a $400,000 loan. So we still have that in PV, right? Uh, we, ha we, we know since we want the hard money guy to feel comfortable with deal, this deal and buy it at par, meaning at face value, we, we made it at 12 and a half. We make the note so that they'll buy it without a discount, right? They're trying to make 12 and a half. So we're going to put that back in there. We make it so that it's the 12 month term they normally would have had. We said.